This is James from Bond with James, and this is the covalent compound slash bonding I have who has activity. There are 28 cards in this set. Now, while I have printed the cards out in color and on cardstock, you always have the option of printing it on regular paper as well as printing in grayscale. It'll come out just as fine. However, if you want to have the cards stand up to time and student you know, wear and tear, I would highly recommend that you print in cardstock and laminate, or you know you can put them in photo album sleeves and do it that way as well. The way this works if you've never played is basically a looping activity. So as I said, there are 28 cards in this set. If you had the magic number of 28 students in your class, you can play as a whole class where each student receives a card and they would start, it doesn't matter where you start, actually I'm starting in the middle of this particular set. One student would just go out and read off their their item, I have oxygen, and then they would read their clue, who has the molecular prefix for the number six. And then there would be someone in the class, if you were playing as a whole class, that would hopefully pay attention to the clue, and then they would have to respond, I have hexa. Then they would read their clue, who has, read their clue, and then they would go on and on and on. The game would end when the activity comes back around to the original card. Now, if Let's say, for example, you don't have 28 students in class. You can always play in small groups of four or three, however many, you know, however you like to do it. I would say probably no more than four. In this case, because there's 28 cards, each student in a group of four would, would receive seven cards. And again, it doesn't matter where they start in the set. You know, if they want to start here first, I have octet rule, and they read their, their clue. Again, the game ends once all the cards have been read and it comes back to the original clue that started off the game. Um, that is the covalent compound bonding I have who has activity. As always, you can subscribe by clicking on the button in the, the subscribe button in the lower bottom of this video or in the upper left hand corner of this video. As always, thanks for watching.